pioneered the Silk Road over 2,000 years ago. Zhang Qian, an envoy of China's Han Dynasty, embarked on two missions from the ancient capital Chang'an. His epic, arduous journey brought back first-hand accounts of the people and lands beyond the western border, paving the way for diplomatic relations and trade with countries in the region. A 7,000-kilometer trade network gradually formed, spanning from China to Central Asia and as far as the Mediterranean Sea. Maritime trade also began to flourish. Starting from coastal cities in southeastern China, merchants sailed across the Indian Ocean, reaching the east shore of Africa and Europe. During the height of China's Tang Dynasty in the 7th and 8th centuries, Chang'an, today Xi'an, was one of the world's busiest trading hubs. And now here's a glimpse of the city's largest commercial district, the West Market. Four merchants acquired Chinese-made silk, tea, porcelain, lacquerware, and ironware here and shipped them to other Asian countries, Africa and Europe, while spices, gems, horses, and exotic foods like grape, watermelon, and walnut float to China from overseas. Now, silk was the name card of Chinese exports, so prominent that in 1877, German geographer Baron von Ritzofen first named these freight routes as the Silk Road. As China unveiled the Belt and Road Initiative in 2013, a fresh chapter of the ancient routes began to unfold. It seeks economic integration of countries and regions beyond the original network. Welcome to the Korgos Dry Port on the China-Kazakhstan border. Once a bustling stop on the ancient Silk Road, now the world's largest dry port and the first cross-border free commercial zone. By July 2022, China-Europe freight trains had completed 57,000 journeys since the railway opened in 2011, transporting millions of containers of merchandise worth nearly 300 billion U.S. dollars. Goods from eastern China can now reach Western Europe in just two weeks by train. 151 countries and 32 international organizations have signed up to the Belt and Road Initiative. It's fostered over 3,000 projects in diverse sectors, including transportation, energy, agriculture, and communications, with a combined investment of nearly 1 trillion U.S. dollars. Now, green and digital investments have emerged as primary areas of growth. Over the past decade, trade between China and Belt and Road economies has grown by an average of 8.6% annually. It doubled from 2013 to a historic peak of 2 trillion U.S. dollars in 2022, making up almost a third of China's total foreign trade volume. Well, what do all these mean to the people? By 2022, projects under the framework has created 421,000 jobs across member states. The World Bank predicts that by 2030, through increasing global trade and income, the initiative could lift 7.6 million people worldwide out of extreme poverty and 32 million out of moderate poverty. With its network covering two-thirds of the world's economies, the living and breathing legacy of the ancient Silk Road is set to unleash further potentials and give rise to a more inclusive and dynamic global market. <laughs>